Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna briefly go over my top 12 list of performance mods that you can make to your Arctic Cat 700 diesel that will completely transform this machine and make it perform like you would have never even thought possible. So starting right at the top, number one, super simple. Get in there and check your coolant level. You need to jack the rear end up about 18 inches to make sure there's no air pockets and the radiator or the hoses uh, saw a significant difference just in performance because this thing was overheating just because it had air pockets in it. So get rid of those air pockets, you're gonna see this thing perform a lot better. Number two is the fuel screw. I can't even explain how big of a difference it feels like. Turn it in about a turn and a half, it cuts the zero to 40 mile per hour time almost in half. So it's on the driver's side behind the plastic. You may or may not have to take your plastics off. Super amazing performance increase. Like if you don't do anything else, you just do those two things, you're gonna be blown away. Next one, come over here to the back, take the spark arrestor off the muffler, just put an extra downpipe on there. So now you have basically four outlets on your muffler instead of one. That's gonna pick you up quite a few seconds. Then we're gonna come in, we're gonna address the primary clutch tuning. You do have to have the plastics off. You have to take the CVT belt cover off. You're gonna um, add quarter ounce uh, wheel weights to the primary clutch. And that is going to basically get this thing moving as soon as you hit the throttle, instead of having that two minute lag time between the time you hit the throttle and it actually starts moving. And that takes me into the next one is throttle tuning. So you just loosen this thumb screw up here and make sure that when you push on the throttle, it's actually moving the throttle lever on the engine. Because sometimes you can have just a lot of free play in there and you're not actually moving anything on the engine even though you're moving the lever. Next one's gonna be the shifter washer. And I'll go more into depth on this later but if you take your left panel off, you can see where that shift linkage goes back to the transmission. All you have to do is add an eight millimeter washer in there and that tightens up all that slop that's in that shift handle linkage. So put that washer on and now you can slam it from low all the way back to reverse and have positive shift engagement. Fuel timing, now that we're getting to the second half of the list, these are ones that are a lot more extensive and involved and the gains might not be as significant. So you're gonna take the plastics off, you have to take the valve cover off, and then you're gonna advance your timing. I did mine three degrees and it made a noticeable difference. It's not earth shattering, mind blowing like the fuel screw, but if you're trying to get every second of performance you can, then you definitely gotta do the fuel timing. Number eight's gonna be a glow plug indicator light. So I put this aftermarket LED unit in that glows orange, so you can see that easily in broad daylight. And while we're up here, number eight is our water temp gauge, so we know exactly what our water temp is. Underneath the back here, we're gonna have some fuel sending unit shims, and I'll have to show you some pictures of this. And this is definitely a project you will do with all of your plastics removed. And while you're in there, we're also going to add in a drain to the skid plate for the fuel tank so that if we do get water in here, that goes right down in here. Normally that water wouldn't be able to escape, but with the drain cut out of the bottom, now you don't have to worry about water freezing and expanding and causing damage. 26 inch tires give us just a little bit more ground clearance. They give us a little more stability if you go with a wider tire. They also give us a higher top speed because of the larger diameter. And with the torque of this diesel and the CVT, you really won't notice a major loss of performance from taking off off the line. Next time you get new tires, definitely go with a 26. 27, in my opinion, is gonna be a little bit too tall and you are gonna notice loss of performance with a 27 inch tire. And number 12 on the list is gonna be adjusting your shocks because both the front and the rear 
have five position shocks. I have the rears stiffened all the way up since I'll be towing heavy loads or carrying a passenger right over the rear axle. And I have the front lightened all the way up. And where those bolts go through the eyes of the shock on the top and bottom, there's two bushings on top and two on the bottom. And those bushings are just rubber and they wear out. And the difference in ride quality they make is absolutely significant. So if you haven't done it in a while, order up the bushings. It's maybe $20 worth of rubber. It takes you about maybe 20 minutes to change all four shocks out. And you're going to be blown away at how much smoother your ride is. So thanks for watching, guys. Get out there. Don't be afraid to tinker with your Articat 700 diesel because you have so much to gain and nothing to lose.